Lesson number 10. Field trip. The field trip is an important method of geography. Through field trips, one can get a first-hand experience of geographical factors and processes. Geographical concepts can be understood. Geographical field trips are useful for understanding the relationship between man and environment. It is essential to plan the field trips according to the topic, place and duration of the visit. One of the important objectives of a field trip is to pay a visit to an office in order to understand the kind of work done there. Different types of information are collected during a field trip. For this purpose, a questionnaire is prepared. After compiling the information, a report is prepared. Preparations for the field trip A copy of the questionnaire, a notebook, camera, pen, pencil, etc. are an essential part of the kit. Prior permission should be obtained from the concerned office before fixing the date and time of the visit. Care should be taken not to damage anything during the course of the field trip. In this lesson, a sample questionnaire regarding a visit to the election office has been provided. Please go through this questionnaire. This kind of questionnaire is used for obtaining information from any office. On the above of the following questions, you can prepare your own questionnaire for a visit to the following places. Example, Talati's office or a visit to a small-scale industry. Questionnaire, visit to the elections division's office at the taluka and district level. Name of the office. What is the designation of the chief at this office? What are the different duties performed by this office? office who directs the work carried out in the election division which are the various elections conducted through this office from where do they get the additional manpower required during election how many days prior to election is the notice given who does the work of enlisting new voters and updating the electoral list? Who conducts the training programs for the elections? Which are the licenses issued by the office during elections? How many people are appointed at the polling center during voting? When? Is the voting of officials appointed for election duty taken? How? What are the timings of the voting? Is the timing of voting extended under special circumstances? What efforts are taken to make the process of voting transparent? Tell the advantages disadvantages of voting machine evm how are voting machines obtained since when are the voting machines being used what action need needs to be taken if the voting machine becomes faulty how was voting conducted earlier the code of conduct is applicable for how many days 
before and after the elections which departments do you seek help from to conduct the elections in which circumstances are by elections held what do you do if the candidates get equal votes to the elected candidates who signs these certificates report writing after you collect information from the office you visited you have to write a report you can use the maps tables and layouts graphs pictures and photographs for the same write report as per the following points first introduction second personal working in the office third nature of work in the office fourth problems encountered solutions fifth acknowledgement sixth list of references present the report in class either in individually or in a group the students of a particular school along with their teachers made a field trip to the tehsildar's office they prepared a questionnaire for understanding the entire election process After meeting the chief oral officer they collected this information after compilation and the preparation of a report they made use of it for the school elections pictures of the election processes project prepare a plan for a field trip of your class to a place of special interest visit to an office and prepare a questionnaire visit to the election office map of the electoral constituencies sample of the electoral electronic voting machine